Hello, everybody. I believe we should be back. Oh, hopefully you got super hydrated just now uh, because, oh, geez, you know, we, we haven't had much salt today. Honestly, I, I love the community because everybody is so supportive of each other. And if you lose, it's really the game's fault, not yours. Uh, but yeah, let, let's see if we can uh, go ahead and get any salt at all. Hopefully not. Just, just enjoy the bad video games. Uh, in fact, I think that the person coming to be the Game Master today has been way too sweet with various video games just making us all happy. Please welcome on in Xandra. Come on, Xandra. Let's chat a little bit about your game choice today. At least I think you're the one doing it. You should be. Xandra. Xandra. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Welcome on in, uh, because Thank we, you. yeah, uh, I've loved the choices that you've had, mostly because you don't <laughs> choose games that Jal chooses. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that it's all like been working out that way. I tend to like pick games that I just either like have a soft spot for or happen to like, uh, like luck into, or basically like I don't want like. To, at least in round one, it's not about here's here's a giant mess of a game. It's like here's a game that will be like a Cuso Grande like experience, Ooh, even if it wasn't intended okay. that way. I like Especially it. In, yeah, it's it's round. Also, it's round one. I want players to because like I, I I ran up against some walls during my uh, my own like time in Cuso Grande. I want players to learn. It's round one. Anything goes. Yes. So I try. That's that's why I tend to not give out the manual at this point because. It's good to learn what to test, how to figure out stuff, what to explore mechanically in I these games. I love it. Good. Uh, honestly, wow. learning how to play a game without any instructions is one of the big things that we like testing here. And we've seen people lose to control bosses uh, because of, oh my gosh. You chose Isolated Warrior, didn't you? No, was that yep. Mike? Oh, that... No, that was me. Oh, you chose Isolated Warrior. Mike is the one who chose the one with the key combination of start plus down in order to slide. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you have to try everything, and you have to learn. So you honestly never know what you're going to get. Uh, what game do we have? Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> how do you feel about Ninja Gaiden? I like it. I like ninjas. I've gotten to the final boss in Ninja Gaiden, but haven't actually beaten it. Well, now's your chance to see how that game ends for Sencha, because <gasps> we asked Grandma to buy us Ninja Gaiden, and she went out to the store, and she brought us uh, N Ninja Crusaders. It's just, it's the same, really. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the game we oh, wanted. Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. You're the best. You know what, everybody, if you haven't given your grandma a hug or a kiss on the cheek lately, uh, and <laughs> then maybe you should. <laughs> I say that, and then I realize, wait, some of you might be old enough that your grandmas probably aren't around right now. Like, at least one of my grandmas, I'm not kissing you. You're, you're, you're well, you're, you're not around right now. <laughs> and that would it's, be it's really to gross. Give it's time to give grandma like a mm, in the Zoom meeting. Yeah, at least, how about this? In a dream, you can go ahead and smooch your grandmother in any case whatsoever. Okay, so go have a quick dream about your grandmother. Smooch her <laughs> because she bought you this video game, okay? Ninja Crusaders. Yes, so, like, um, presumably there is like e either these are like ninja who are like incredibly enthusiastic and, and overzealous about spreading the good word of being a ninja oh, or yeah. these are ninjas who are like involved in some sort of really unfortunate like war in a few centuries ago i don't think either of these is true i think this is just like hey what's a cool name we can put after ninja that people will think is interesting enough to buy the game ninja crusade exactly okay. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, chat has a really good point. Don't go kiss your grandma because that's illegal right now. Don't no, do it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I Man. will. I will put you in Kuso jail, and that's the worst. Do, do the thing that, like, you know, like at least my my if it's not my Call grandma's, her. my aunts like are into it. Do do the whole like like air kisses over each shoulder, but like two meters apart. Yeah, and also call her. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. Uh, prison jail is Kuso jail, actually. They're the same place. Uh, and that's okay. We social distance you by putting you in a cage with the llama. Actually, can llamas spread it? Dang it, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll test uh, the llamas. Hard, I know it's only humans. I, I've seen something saying that animals pass coronaviruses, so... Uh, oh, we'll, I mean, not this one. We but, will test. Yeah, I mean, let's let's test it. We're gonna test the llama, and then mm -hmm. it will spit at you. Okay, and that is your prison jail experience. <laughs> there's there's ways to test if if the animal can pass something on without them actually having them spit at you. Well, no, I just want them to spit. It's part of the jail okay. experience. Okay. Okay, if that's recreational, yeah. Okay, then sure. Recreational spitting. Yes. The things that are dangerous in 19, <laughs> in every, every year. 19, yeah, why no, was no, I even saying 19? 19 every. What year is, is it dangerous? It's 19 every year. Yeah, 19 every year. Just watch out. Okay, so yeah, do not, <laughs> uh, make sure that if you do go to prison jail, uh, you get a cell with a nice and tested llama. There we go. Anything else? Do we need any more education <laughs> now? Are we good? Uh, I mean, I have, I have the manual. It's, it's not about any of this, but it will be fun to read uh -oh. once we're, we get underway, I think. I think once, once again, we're getting like, close. Ooh. Once, once again, we have the manual. The players don't. Oh, well, good. Don't you love it when that happens? What a coincidence. I, I, I love it because I love doing this, but this is just me. I, I guess, like, eventually, I mean, like, you, you, you can sort of, like, gauge how nice this game is because I don't think it was, like, I needed to, to give the manual. If I give the manual out, it's probably a sign of, like, you need every little bit of help you can get. Ah. Okay, I can breathe. Because there was super Meat Boy music and it was stressing me out. And now Ooh. let's go ahead and hear this other music that hopefully is a little okay. bit less stressful. Uh, it is. However, um, okay, this might be a first for Cuso Grande, but the music is a little bit repetitive. Okay. Uh, by a little <laughs> bit, does it last more than two seconds? Uh, jury is still out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, it's okay though. It's 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 all right. It's it's good. It's good. As people good in chat are saying, as long as it's not spiss popped, we'll probably yeah. survive. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm I, I I played I played spiss popped back when it came out. That was like I had fun actually. I didn't remember it being this awful. Uh, I'm I'm asking Scuddy if they can get to somewhere with sound. I don't even Scuddy. Where are you? <laughs> Reply. I hear nothing. Scuddy. Scuddy. Am I typing in the right chat? Yeah. Okay. I think That's more than good. one. Well, I have more than one chat. <laughs> oh, that's fair. You know what? That's we live in a world of chats. Okay. Okay, I see Scuddy online now. That's helpful. Please, Scuddy, please nice. play audio. Yeah, I think I think I have the. Uh... So Scuddy's gonna be the audio. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh no, apparently there was a power surge. Well, that's not oh, the no. best. Of all times to get power surges, it had to be during Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm... 
I'm, I'm very excited to see if people here will try to do the things that you can do in Ninja Gaiden, but that you absolutely cannot do in Ninja Crusaders. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I believe that, unfortunately, with the power surge, uh, Scuddy went offline for a little bit. Let's go ahead mm -hmm. and just wait a little bit. You know what? Let's play some other less stressful music. Nice. Actually, this is Clash at Demon Head, so it's not necessarily less oh stressful. Oh my gosh. I love, I, I love Clash at Demon Head. I tried to, I rented it when I was young and couldn't really understand English, and I got nowhere very fast. And I recently like played it like, like a year or two ago, now that I understand English, and also didn't get very far, but I got to laugh a lot at, 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 the, at the writing. That game is weird. It's a little strange. But, you know, I've never actually played it. I, I should give it a shot sometime. Uh, it is Vic I, Tokai. Yes, yeah, there's the one of the most popular clips on my stream is me completely losing it of laughter upon meeting, like, the first boss, who is a giant skeleton who calls himself Tom Guycock, chief of, chief of the Governors. <gasps> chief of the Governors? My favorite. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, well good. Hey, it looks like Scuddy is up oh. and we've got sound. Oh baby. Heck yeah. This is good. Exactly yep. what I want to see here are our players. If it comes down to me needing to recapture at some point, I'll just go ahead and do that. Just so everybody knows uh, we're professionals here. Okay, <laughs> no matter what it looks like. No matter what it looks like. Maybe. Okay, let me go ahead and check. Oh. Is anyone here a professional? Okay, I am checking with the players right now to see if they are ready to roll, because I certainly am. Everybody, though, should be getting your emotes to spam ready. Make sure yeah. that you have some ninjas, crusaders. Uh, have ninjas, robots, uh, throwing stars. Also, any sort of, like, uh, you know, cool-looking animal will also do. Also, question in Discord, should they start at the menu uh, that Scuddy's on right now, the one-player, two-player? Oh, sure, why not? It makes very little difference. So, yes, that's a good one to start on. Okay, it looks like. Oh right, the two the two ninjas in this game are called Talon and Blade. Okay, it looks like everybody is more or less where they need to be. Of course, the story shows up uh, in between, mm. but they can get back to that extremely quickly. Spam your yeah. emotes, everybody! Spam away, and I am doing the countdown in Discord. Ooh, birds! Birds. birds? Oh, I know birds in Ninja Gaiden are pretty there, there terrible. Is, there is, yes, there is a bird in this one. It's pretty cool, though. It's a good bird. I will start our timer as soon as I see movement in the first level. And there we go. Full lizards. Oh. Yeah. You just stand straight up. You have, like, no upper body movement. I love <laughs> it. Yep, yep. Just, just wiggle those legs. Also, yes, some folks are already showing off the you various weapons. You could be a tiger? Yes! Oh, you could be a tiger. Okay, I love this game already. Rah! Yes, this is this is the one kindness I I, I gave everyone. Say so like, hey, you you can do more than jump and attack. There's something else you can do in this game. And apparently turn into a tiger is that thing. Uh it is one of those things. Oh, one of those things? What is uh, the combination, or what button do you push in order to turn in? Is that a game over? 47 game seconds over. in? <laughs> oh, no. Thankfully, you have a limited continue, so it's fine. Oh, if you charge attack, you turn into a tiger? Yep, if you charge attack, you turn into a, a mystical animal, and each weapon has its own mystical animal. That's where things get interesting. Ooh, okay, so, so default mystical animal is the tiger. Yes. I like it. So the throwing stars get a, a weapon with a lot of horizontal range. Not that much power, but it gets pretty far. 
and you can turn into a tiger who is very, very quick. Okay, we've got. Oh, I see a dragon. Yeah, sword is like a. It's it's a good weapon. It's up close, not a lot of range, but it lets you turn into an invincible dragon for like a minute. Okay. Uh, but and, since yeah. you have an item, do you have a normal attack plus the item, or is it just the item? It's just it's just the item. Basically, the item is your weapon and also your transformation. And this this is why I love this game is that each weapon and and its own like transformation kind of like work well together. They're balanced to go together. That's why like the throwing star gives you a lot of range with not a lot of power. So you can be like you can attack from a from afar, and by turning into a tiger, you can get very far very quickly. Uh, the tiger has an attack, but it's very very close, so it's a it's real dangerous to use. Gotcha. Uh, ooh, I like the bird, but I just like birds. Yeah. Bird, get... bird is real good. The bird is like ultimate mobility, but the weapon neck tied to it is the the bow staff, which is. Very short range weapon, and that's very tricky to use. So you oh, have the best geez, yeah. Ooh, boss with time. Meta Knight onto the boss with the bow staff. This is yeah. gonna be hard. It looks like it deals yeah. a decent amount of damage. Yeah. What? Bam. Two hits like with the nothing. bow staff? Are you serious? Very. It's very close up weapon, but it does the job. Wow. That's also, we got the scorpion. Actually, really impressive. I think the bow staff might be speedrun strats right there because of how mm -hmm. much the scorpion is swimming. Swim, <laughs> yeah. scorpion. <laughs> okay, this is absolutely the best. <laughs> ah, full lizards I, I just enjoying it. I love it. I, I love also the other, like uh, the other players, like uh, Scuddy showing off the swimming animation, which is just walking slowly on water like it's Jello. Oh yeah, uh, I do wonder, is there any, like, do you have to collect anything in order to turn into an animal? Nope, you just hold the button down, you turn into an animal, and like, so that's kind of why, like, every animal kind of has its own thing. And like, the bird, like, okay, bird can get into tricky spots, because again, one hit and you're dead, that's it. Full lizard's dying to the boss, but honestly... Yep. Yep, that's, that's what, what happened. What so. is this thing? It's so gross. Uh, are there continues? As many as you want. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, like, my grandma in, in chat is, like, pointing out the, the speed run is, like, five is less than five minutes. This is a very fast game when you know what you're doing. That's actually kind of fun, though. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully, also, uh, if we have a completion, uh, the game has a harder second loop afterwards, so I, I told the players, just keep going. By the way, I did find the story of the of the game, the Ninja yes. Crusader oh. story. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Are I'm you excited. ready? Yes. They struck without warning, wiping out Earth's forces in one master stroke. Cities were crushed and the invading aliens showed no mercy. They called themselves the Inimicus and hailed for the total surrender of the planet. A small resistance force of ninjas refusing to be conquered still remained after the first strike. They moved from shadow to shadow, always one step ahead of the alien killers. The Inimicus forces, frustrated by their failed attempts to obliterate these rebels, called in more reinforcements from the diabolical planet. Meanwhile, the Kaogi ninja clan weren't sitting still. They gathered in a secret hiding place deep within a distant mountain and came up with a with a daring plan. Two of their most skilled ninjas would be sent out to infiltrate the heart of the enemy and annihilate their stronghold on Earth. The ancient ones then summoned forth all of their ninja magic and endowed the two chosen warriors with long forgotten mystical powers. So there we go. That's the story. I love your delivery. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, the planet might be bad. Uh, but I'm, I'm just trying to think. Uh, the lore, honestly, is pretty dang generic. Uh, mm. Not gonna lie, but, you know, whatever. Story gets the job done. 
What do you need to yeah. know? You're fighting aliens and you're a ninja. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Also, maybe don't die. It's, yeah, these, these, these ninja, like, you know, infiltrate, they're not doing such a great job at infiltrating since already clearly they've sounded the alarm. So but... can, can you die as the animal? Easily, absolutely. Oh, oh uh, the only okay. animal that can't die is the dragon. Uh, the dragon is pretty much, as, as far as I understand, invincible. Can fly through anything. Has an incredibly powerful attack. It's just great. However, it only lasts for like, eh, I think I think close to like a minute, maybe less, and then it just uh, automatically untransforms you from a dragon and gives you the shuriken back. So it's it's a one way thing. You can okay. you can become a dragon for a little bit, but then you are cast down from dragonhood for the time being. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember with Ninja Gaiden. Uh, with Ninja Gaiden, is it one hit kills in that as well? Oh no, Ninja Gaiden, you get a whole health bar. In this one, you oh, don't. Okay. It's just like, well, nope, Paper Ninja, like Paper it, Tiger. It hey, it felt like one hit kills. It could be that some of the, it's like maybe it's like Castlevania. I mean, you have a full health bar, but near the end of the game, everything just does like a huge chunk of it. Oh, you die so fast. Hmm. Loving that swimming animation of just like falling. The scorpion swimming animation is easily the best. <laughs> it's so, it's so good. So the scorpion is like incredibly slow. It does have the nice little very long range attack, but it's so so slow. I'm glad that this, th this alien on uh, Celestium screen, it's just. Has a really nice shield, you know. Up, down, up, yeah. down, up, down. Up, uh, down, up, down. Honestly, yeah, I'm seeing that for players who don't have the bow staff, it is taking a few more hits. Unfortunately, yeah. if he shoots while you're jumping, he aims right at you. Uh, so, yep. gotta kill the shield and then kill the boss. Yeah. Is that a monkey? Where? That is a monkey. On, on Scuddy's, Scuddy's screen. Aww. It's a giant green monkey. Or ape. I'm, I'm bad at identifying friends. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for that. Monkeys are okay. Yeah, my, like, you know, my, monkeys, birds, and metal gears. That's what you get. How did Scuddy even die? I don't know. Easily. Oh. It's yeah. this game. It's, <laughs> some, uh, some enemies will, like, fire, like, very close to uh, your, your crouching position. It's like sometimes it, it feels like you you can just barely make it out, but sometimes it's like nope nope there's just no you have to like you should not engage this enemy close enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying. Also, to I really love that. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm trying yeah, to I see really if there it's... are any enemies. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm... Ah, ah. So the, one one of my favorite enemies is like the big red mech that is in the first level and I think might show up later. Uh, it basically is one of those enemies that, like, uh, is very big, takes a ton of hits, uh, will shoot, like, a slow-moving projectile, but if you just, like, you know, uh, stand in front of it, crouch, and just keep hitting it so that you, you duck under the projectiles, it will just crouch down and shoot you in the face. It's ah. one of those rare enemies that can do that, and I just really, really love it. I love it. Oh, Zell taking another death. Honestly, though, uh, the whip is definitely not the best weapon for this boss, but mm. it's it's better than nothing. As well, you can't have yeah. nothing. I think I think it might be a Kusarigama, which is like the uh, the the sickle on uh, sickle end ball on a uh, chain. Oh yeah, uh, just like in uh, Neo. I need to play the new Neo. Oh, oh I need, I need, yes, you, you can play a lady. Hashtag play a lady. I'm, I'm absolutely need to play that. I don't know. I actually, I play ladies quite often in certain video games, but whenever I can make a character who looks like Mitt Romney, I usually do that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that genie problem in chat asked, how many of those ancient transformation themed yet awful games do I still have up my sleeve? A non-zero amount. That is the answer. A non-zero amount. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, there are a lot of pink robots in Meta Knight screen. Meta Knight is doing really well, and I'm not surprised. Hey! Uh, he's always Check done pretty fantastic. So you have the very extremely excited, jumpy robots just having the time of their lives. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. Yeeting themselves into pits. That's okay. okay. Let me explain, chat. Just imagine you're playing a game and you're Mitt Romney. Isn't it immediately a comedy? Oh, it is. So that's the reasoning. I just want to laugh, okay? Hey, full lizards is a lizard. Hey! There we go. Now now you get to be the dragon for a precious few seconds, but goodness, those seconds make a big difference. Oh, oh, okay. Stab. No! What? Stab strats, unfortunately. Oh, but you, you get to keep the bow, though, so you just gotta... See, like... Meta Knight has so many lives. Thankfully, lives let you just restart on the same on the same like uh, level. Good. So if you're playing the boss, like there you go, just bam. Meta Knight's just blazing through. Bam. Honestly, all of the players are doing really well right now, but Meta yeah. Knight is destroying this game. Um, Heck yeah. So I'm wondering what kind of. Oh. <laughs> What kind of strats do you have to learn in order to play this game well, in order to get through it? Uh, because Meta uh, Knight is apparently learning those really quickly. Yeah, I think it's really just a matter of like figuring out the weapon that works well for you, and also learning how each enemy works. Because uh, like it, it, you you die you die from being surprised because you you only have the one hit. So if you can predict how enemies will react, then you're usually pretty good. And the bow is a, is a really good weapon for that because. With the bow staff, like you do so much damage that if you can, like sneak in and get like the attack you need in, then you should probably be good. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone in chat is asking if we'll see an early completion. Meta Knight uh, has been struggling a little bit with Meta Knight. He's been struggling a little bit, but at the same time, you know, we might be able to see him finish this. And there's a second loop. Yep, there's a second loop. Aha! The second loop is harder. <laughs> good, good. So, yep, probably yep. not. Yeah, it's like, I, uh, one completion, sure. Two completions, uh, maybe. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see, like, uh, the, the, how the second loop goes. Okay. But yeah, this could be another, like, another laser dolphin, and everyone is going to, like, completely demolish it very quickly. Oh but. my gosh, Meta Knight trying water strats and unfortunately oh, is not oh, able to kill oh. the enemy. It's worth a shot at least once, though, is what I'd say. Yeah, totally. And also the fact that, like, um, in this game, uh, if, you, if you get enough score, you can, like, earn extra lives. So if you're doing well enough, you can like get enough lives so that you have a nice buffer of resets right on the boss. And that's like a really, really good thing to get in this one. However, if you keep dying in this stage, you go through those lives and then you're gonna get back, like stuck in the loop of having to play the stage over and over and over again. So it's like, if you, if you can just make it, if you can like play it very carefully in the stage oh, no. and make it to the end with enough lives, Oh, I love that you can go into the water like Meta Knight did. That was beautiful. I don't think yep. I don't think he meant to, but he did. Uh, by the way, the the manual kind of offers a little bit of a challenge. It says uh, no ninja is able to win a battle with the Inimicus as a man, but your special skills will help you prevail. And I'm like, maybe it would be worth trying to do it without doing mm. any animal changes. Ooh, Zell has an interesting strat against the boss. Just become a scorpion. Just be a scorpion. When in doubt, just be a scorpion. I like that strat. I mean, yeah, Vader right. used that strat, and he did really well. Master, I can't defeat the giant enemy. Have you Have you tried being a scorpion? It worked for me. Oh, uh, no, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, uh... So, essentially, the crusade that you are on in this game is rescuing the world from its doom. Uh, Pretty and much. Honestly, you know, boilerplate. Yeah, Full Lizards is starting to get the hang of this level. Honestly, it seems like there are two areas per stage. Moving on to the boss now, they are going to be facing this thing. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Yeah. Is that a wall? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, I... I think now is a good time to say there might be some sort of pattern when it comes to these boss designs. Really? 
Mm. Like, they're all on wheels. Yeah, we, you know, wheeled bosses. They're green. They're they go back, back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> the parade float bosses. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> A parade float bosses. Oh, that is beautiful. I love it. Hey! Scuddy, moving on to 3-1, moving into second place. Uh, the I, Devil's I, Forest. Yeah, I believe they were in second place before, but that, you know, holding on to that is pretty good. Full of Lizards is probably going to get there in just a little bit, too, as well. Just got to avoid every single projectile. Hmm. It's also the fact that, like, uh, on over on Zell's screen, like, the tiger is very quick, but the attack, the tiger's attack is very short range. Yeah. And some of the enemies will just keep walking. There's no real knockback. They just blink a little bit. So, like, some enemies will just, like, keep walking and walk right into you if you can't, like, focus them down fast enough. Zell moving on to 2-2, two, two, Lake of Chaos. He is... I... Doesn't seem that chaotic. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Like it has robots. That's a little chaotic. I mean, there's 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 robots and like murderous wildlife. I think I think I think that's like it qualifies when when compared to like a typical lake. So apparently you can play this as two players. Have you ever played this? Two oh player? yeah. I have not. Uh, I currently am like quarantined by myself. But, oh. Uh, I sh I should like. I'm mean, curious to see how it works. Apparently the task has. One player turned into the tiger, and the other player rides them. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. Also, huh. yeah, Meta Knight is facing some really interesting enemies who just seem like, be like, is that a wall flying in place? Nope, it's an enemy, and it just flies straight in your face. <laughs> I love it. I don't know, like... When, when there are things in games that are just absolutely BS, uh, you know, <laughs> you can't blame the players for dying, but it still is kind oh, of no, funny. No. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I appreciate that, like, everyone's kind of, like, on the same level here in the term of, like, like fairness. Oh, yeah. This company, by the way, NMK Co. Limited, uh, has actually been on... Uh, Kusa Grande, I feel a couple times they made Arkista's really? Ring. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah, Thunder Dragon definitely hasn't been here. Uh, but Wizards and Warriors is a game that they helped oh. with from what I'm seeing. Oh. Like, Rare developed that, but they're credited for helping with some, in, with it in some form. I'm not completely sure how. Mm. Uh, Apparently, they released the Japanese Famicom version. Cool. Mm. And Wizards and Warriors is amazing. I love it. So, if anything, they may have done some of the localizations that are out there. Uh, with, with that said, this is definitely a janky version of Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's, it's, not, it's not terrible. It's, it's actually kind of fun to play. It's just... It, just, it has that little something that, like, you, you just doesn't quite sit right. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Ooh. The publisher <laughs> of this also helped work on the game Amagon. Uh, I see... Oh. I see Twin Cobra in these credits as well. Like, yeah, there, there are a lot of games that uh, are familiar that I just never really touched before. Is Amagon a good game? Oof. I mm, I think I own it, I but I never played it. I seem to recall renting it, and I forget. I forgot every single thing about that game. Did I have a good time or not? <laughs> NPC gave out Amagon earlier in Crimson Ground. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I think I do know that, but I've mostly played bootleg versions of that game. Huh. Hey, the music in the 3-2, not so bad. It's very peaceful. Yeah, just, just I mean, take a chill moment to appreciate this temple? The, I forgot to read what was the, the start of it all. It's sure, it's a temple. I mean, you yeah. can tell because of all the bottomless pits. <laughs> <laughs> and robots. Maybe it's a robo-temple, yeah. you know? 
Oh yeah. Fully automated temple. With with lots of walls that feel like you should be able to scale them, but you can't. This isn't stuff that kind of game. Ooh, so the people who actually worked on the music no. here were left uncredited. However, uh -huh. yeah, one of the composers for this did end up working on Beat Mania in the future. Um, yeah, I'm always finding these weird, like, connections between people. Uh, that was Kazunori Hidea, uh, another one of the people who worked on the sound system that got used here, worked on The Last Battle, which oh. I... Yeah, the it looks like the RPG game for the Super Nintendo. Uh, they also worked on Attack of the Friday Monsters and wrote the lyrics for that. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, I forgot. The scorpion is really fast underwater. Is like the fastest thing underwater. I love it. Which is, uh, like. Seems like I, I thought scorpions couldn't swim, and that was the whole point behind like a very popular fable. Well, it's complicated. <laughs> it's a magical yeah. scorpion. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Also, Scuddy off with the fight with Mr. Mantis, and we're done. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? It happens. Death is. It happens. Well, yeah, you're a very weak ninja. You. Here's the yep. deal, you spent all your time training your agility and you didn't train any of your endurance. Mm. Also, I do appreciate that the- nope. <laughs> the boss just walks up, crouches, and pokes you in the face. Like, Why? Nope. Like, it just... <laughs> There was no way to get out of that. <laughs> nope. Poke. So, what I think you have to do is probably but or bait out some of the attacks. Make sure that the boss comes close and tries to jab you. Uh, and then go from there. Meta Knight, meanwhile, on a Whoa. UFO boss. Heck yeah! Oh! Got UFO'd. Dang it, I hate getting UFO'd. I have not seen this boss yet, this is great. Like ever? Yeah, I don't- I don't think I made it to the end of that stage. Oh, okay. This is wild. Like, yeah, but Meta Knight 3000 has historically done extremely well in in these blind matches, you know. Uh, and mm. I, I think that it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that he's doing well here. Hmm. Also, someone's pointing out, oh, dang it, like, stage four boss, not a parade float. No, I think we're often, like, in some, like, a Macy's Day parade kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, this one is, like, the float that started too early in the parade and had to be called back. <laughs> right, nope, nope, the flow that back. got away is now rampaging through the city. It's Yeah, it's like a balloon. Yep. No one can stop giant inflatable Pikachu. Was Pikachu the one that got away from the parade or was that something else? Did Pikachu get away? I, I, I seem to recall there was like one float that kind of got, got, got out of hand. A, a, a couple years back. Sonic. Okay, Sonic. Well, he would get away. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of his whole deal. Oh, yeah, there was the time that Barney the dinosaur kind of deflated. Aww. Uh, and in 1927, apparently they accidentally let Felix the cat go. And oh, no, Felix. Yeah, right at the end, they were going to deflate it, and nope, they let it go. Uh, and, yeah, poor, poor Felix. Hi, Felix. Mighty they Mouse They say he's deflated. still floating out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, Mighty Mouse, no! It was a Mighty Mouse float. I need to... I need to look into this. Apparently, one time, Popeye the Sailor Man collected a whole bunch of rain on his hat, and after they went around a turn, he poured it on all of the spectators. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what's what's what is the like the the if if you had to pour something over all the spectators, what do you think would be like the best thing? If if you had to what? 
If you had to pour something all over the spectators, like what's what's a good what's a best case scenario for that? Uh, that they ha all have umbrellas. Like that it is raining yeah, outside. I don't imagine that they just got soaked. Like they probably mm. brought umbrellas. Mm. Yeah, and it was just water. It was rainwater. The, the oh, water okay, good. collected on the hat. Like they they could put like flaming goil on and then pour it on the spectators. That would have been a different parade. <laughs> but no, they just use just had water. Yeah. Hey, full of lizards, also full of victory because now made it to stage four and had a really good idea for a moment there. Saying like, hey, I, I can be a scorpion, water scorpion, let's go. But then there's like all these, like all the fishes and everything. But wait, no, this is actually working out. Oh, heck yeah. Making solid use of that like underwater speed. Oh, look yeah. at him go. Heck yeah. You know, I love the scorpion. Absolutely the best. I, I think Full Lizards has a chance of catching up to Meta Knight in just a little yeah. bit. Meta Knight's made it to the boss, hasn't beaten it, but yeah, the this level has been a yeah. wall for him. Full Lizards is just really making some solid, quick progress, and they are going to have an attempt at the boss probably oh, yeah. in two or three more lives is what I guess. Mm, they they really figured out the like the advantages of each like mystical form, and I think that's real good. And everyone's pretty much just everyone's having like a rough time in the oh they're in, actually on different levels. Top I, two are on level three, two, and four. Okay, they kind of start looking a little bit the same. They're different color palettes. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I just saw the blue platforms. Yeah, okay, teal platforms. Blue, yeah, I know they're totally not the same. Well, I the like gray bricks versus purple bricks. I mean... Gray bricks or bricks. Yeah, the, the... Like, Meta Knight and Full Lizards. Oh, no! Oh, what happened? Wow! I was, I was about to say, wait, oh my gosh, you just... You can cheese the boss by being a scorpion, and the boss is like, nope, I actually have a, a third oh. attack just for this scenario. Wait, really? Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, the down shot! Oh, that is rude. So rude. But the yeah, scorpion is like probably a little bit better. Yep. It's a solid strat. Just need to, like, focus down Mr. Mantis. Hey! Yeah, the Mantis is down! I'm, I'm assuming that is a Mantis boss, but, you know, it just uh, looks mantis There -like. are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are questions about how long this game is. Five worlds, two loops. Mm. So don't worry. We are going to have plenty for the players. And it gets more difficult per Xandra. Do you know what yep. changes with the new loop? Not exactly. I've never actually made it. All I could read upon like on, on about it was like, yep, yeah, nope, second loop's harder. So I don't know if there's more enemies, they take more damage. You can't possibly take more damage. You already take like a billion points of damage every time you get hit, but... <sighs> I'm really curious to see what they do. Yeah. Honestly, you know, just figuring out how to plow through the early parts worked out for Meta Knight, but now uh, he's mm. been a little bit walled, and this is really opening the door for the other players to catch up and possibly even mm. pass him. You know... Figuring out how to be consistent and not just uh, get an early lead and, uh, you know, it, it's what's going to be needed. Mm. And especially in this game where, like, just a any kind of mistake is so incredibly punishing, like, to make. But, like, it's, you, you really need to figure out, like, it's, gosh, it's, is it, like, sort of a, a like, uh, the same mentality you would with Kaizo? Just, like, learn, like... Like, get a little bit further, and then a little bit further, and eventually you can, like, start to master the early level and just be, like, extremely consistent, like you said. I'm just trying to think. I mean, because they are individual levels, uh, that, and you start every time on 3-2 if you die on 3-2, like, it's not a huge setback, so I can understand taking more risks, uh, but at the same time... It's, it's interesting because the the risks aren't paying off now that we've got this wall. Uh, as you notice, yep. there is no timer 
in this game as well, so mm. you, you don't have to worry about rushing the clock. You know. No. Nope. Also, I just I just love those like jumping gray robots so much. They just never stop jumping. They're just like they're just here to have a good time over your dead body. Oh yeah. The the biggest problem, by the way, I, I would say with this game, as well as Ninja Gaiden, is that uh, there are often a lot of enemies and projectiles. If you can spawn one or two enemies on the screen, kill them, and then spawn the next enemies, it makes it a lot more manageable. They, like, mm. just managing how many enemies there are is helpful. Full lizards, not doing that. There are three enemies no. coming at you. But that was a survival still. Oof. Really impressive yeah. maneuvering right there. Especially since a lot of the enemies can just like shoot directly at you and can shoot through walls. Oh yeah. So right. crowd management, probably the most important skill uh, mm -hmm. in anything oh. like Ninja Gaiden. Also, wow. Okay, Meta Knight just be like destroyed telekinetically because that was nowhere near the hitbox. But I guess the game is just like, nope. You know, maybe it's just a UFO. Game's gotta help him out, you know. Mm, I wonder if any any player is gonna try to like do like just make it to the boss with the sword, so you can unleash the dragon on a boss. Because those those few seconds of invincibility are really gonna pay off. But you only get to try that once. Yeah. What weapon does it give you after you use the sword, or is it uh, random? The, uh, you always get the shuriken. Uh, the tiger. Ah. Oh wow, my gosh. Rats. Meta Knight just tried to use the tiger. I love it. It's <laughs> adorable. I'm a huge fan of the tiger, okay? It's a good tiger. Oh, Meta Knight Heck kills yeah. with the tiger. You go, tiger. Oh my gosh. Very, very nice. Scuddy onto a level with new music. I like it. Yeah, I honestly did not expect that to be the way that somebody would get through the boss, but it worked. Mm, yep, it's just 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 claw at it with a tiger. Ooh, the shuriken is really bad on this next level, though. <laughs> yeah, if you you can't get stuck underwater with a shuriken, that's just a really really bad place. So to here be. we go, tiger time. Wait, you can sort of clip into the wall wait, no. apparently. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Well, uh, I know that when you're a dragon, you can just ignore walls; they don't matter. Wait, what? Uh, for for uh, at least some of them don't matter. Uh, like there was a few times where like I just sailed through a wall with a dragon, but when I was not a dragon, I was held back. Aren't we all? Mm. <laughs> Everybody, by the way, we have a lot of excitement today. This is our third match. We have one more match coming up after this. The game has likely been chosen. The players are getting ready to suffer. And, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here in my seat just enjoying what we've got. So, you know, get excited. This match is luckily very easy to track because you can see what stage they're on at the bottom right all the time. And yep. they do not go back to previous stages. They just start on the next one. Or on the one that they died on, you know? Yep, yep. And the, the boss counts as being at the end of the stage yep. it was on. So, like, yep. If if you are if you have lives, you start on the boss again. But if you have to continue, then it's back to the start of the stage. <gasps> Justin brought me food. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh. Yes. Thank you, Justin. Thanks, Justin. Oh, my gosh. Nice. that That's, like, the best thing. Mm, someone bringing you food is just like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's not a burrito. It's leftover pizza from last night. Oh, nice. What, what, what's your go-to pizza? Uh, we actually have a place called Lucky Slice here. They do... Uh, yeah, it's a small company. I think they have two locations at this point. And uh, they do both pizza by the slice as well as... Uh, as well as what? Oh, yeah, you can order pizzas. And I typically get this one pizza that uh, it has pineapple. It's got jalapenos. Mm. It's got, I think it's prosciutto Ooh. on it. It's really good. There it is. Yep. This See, like, uh, prosciutto or ham with 
a like sweet fruit like pineapple or melon in like not necessarily in pizza but also in anything else is just so good like that's why i love hawaiian pizza because pineapple and ham together are a really good taste sensation or like any any kind like have you ever wrapped prosciutto around some melon balls it's incredible i haven't but that sounds amazing uh yep. it's yeah two, it's those two tastes that go together like like ninjas and tiger mm. this company by the way is really good at uh having very unique pizzas they have a pizza of the month that's always different they've had a curry pizza they've had i don't Ooh. know they've had amazing pizzas and i love mm. this specific one although all of their pizzas are so good oh there's a really nice uh, pizza place in town here that delivers thankfully just barely to me and it's like they're like they make these like personal sort of like oven baked uh, pizzas and they're just they have like 60 different kinds and they're just they're just so incredible but there's like a minimum for them to deliver so i always have to like i only order them when when i have a friend over gotcha i, I cannot eat two pizzas i i'd also say uh if you are ever in salt lake and i'm speaking to everybody here there is a pizza place near the rpg limit break hotel called curry pizza mm. Uh, and they were actually on an episode of, uh, Guy Fieri's whatever it is. Uh, and in fact, that's the only thing that they play on the TV that they have in there on repeat that episode that they were in because their pizza is so flippin' amazing. Their curry uh -huh. pizza, it's the best. Wait, apparently somebody knows that episode in chat. Yeah, highly recommended. It. It's some of the best pizza ever. So good. Mm hmm Pizza's just so good. Mm -hmm. One day I'll relearn how to make my own. Honestly, it's not too hard. Uh, if you want to go through the process of making a crust, great. Uh, if not, there are a lot of pre or there are a lot of crust mixes that are very easy to make and that honestly taste fantastic. So uh, that's fine. But. All you really have to do with pizza is choose the toppings. That's all. As long as you can do that, you're going to have a good pizza. Nice. And cheese. Lots of cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a cheese fiend. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Yep. Actually, yep, yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> Hey, Meta Knight oh is on to another boss. I Look don't like this. it. I don't like Look it. Friend. Not a friend. <laughs> yep, that's right. The mouse oh, always finds the cheese. This is ugly. It's so ugly. <laughs> it's Macarena Swamp Thing. <laughs> Like, Seems fairly straightforward, though. I don't think I've had a nightmare this bad before. This is... <laughs> whoa. Hey, there we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, he's dead. And now... Continuing on... Ah, of course. Giant mosquitoes. Oh, not the mosquitoes. Actually, wait, yeah, the, the <laughs> boss did not get defeated, right? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Meta Knight defeated the boss and it's just I guess five just five one has a boss or something. Sometimes a level one can have a boss. Oh uh I'm not going to spoil things, but don't worry, you'll probably uh, find out in just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the game FAQ's uh, information about 5-1. That was a boss at the end of 5-1. Uh, there's a boss mm -hmm. at the end of 5-2 now. Uh, yep, makes sense. Yeah, so don't worry. We are going to have some fun. Also, uh, I think Meta Knight figured out if you pick up a weapon that is the same as the weapon you currently have, you get an extra life. 
Oh, seriously? Yep. So Ooh. this is I, this is like an actual strategy. So uh, that is something that uh, I left for players to figure out. And hey, it actually it, it is a, a marginal help because it's still like well, you, you get infinite continues, but still. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'd yes. Say uh, it's someone asked, really how do you beat this game in five minutes? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. You were talking. Oh yeah, it's like. Yeah, how do you get? How do you beat this game in five minutes by not dying? Yes, that is correct. If you if you can just if once you know exactly how, like each enemy moves and like the path you need to take to reach level, you can get it done pretty quickly. I imagine the run might do some weird stuff where like oh if you lose the weapon you had then it kind of throws the whole run into disarray. But by the way, you were talking about the extra lives here, and I think that the only time those really matters when you get to a boss uh, because if you yep. have extra life you can try again and again as soon as you get a game over you go back to the beginning of the stage a little bit of tough mm -hmm. luck there but that's how it goes yep. honestly full lizards is doing pretty well trying to get through this area with a scorpion and luckily doing pretty well there's always like a nice little set of the thing I like about this game also is that uh, because you can pick Why? up weapons while the oh. bouncy boy he just hopped the bouncy up boy and, oh my gosh I don't like so it. bouncy yeah yeah like see, as as since you can pick up weapons while you're transformed you can do some stuff where like you can grab like you, you can change into one animal grab another weapon so that when you transform back you have like a different ability and can transform into a different animal right there. And, like, yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's, to beat this game, you must, like, you, you have to learn how to properly transform into an animal. And I think that's a good lesson for us all. <laughs> Is that how we beat life? Uh, maybe. It's not, maybe, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it, it is some sort of victory for sure. <laughs> So those little like those little clippers, those little flying clippers, just being an absolute menace right now mm. on on Meta Knight's screen. They kind of are clippers, aren't they? <laughs> flying through the air, snip, snip, snip. Gonna shoot some bullets at you too. <laughs> Wasn't it like uh, Finland's uh, official like quarantine like uh, list of suggestion? Like, how do you occupy yourself in quarantine? Why not become a fursuiter? Find an animal persona and then make a fursuit. Like that was an actual like Wait, piece of advice from. From where? Uh, one well, a European country I think had a list. I forget which one exactly it was. I was I was just fascinated by the advice itself and I forgot where it came from. I'm Finland. I just okay, yes. typed in fursuit coronavirus and it's a little bit scary uh, <laughs> because no! I. Uh, oh no! Finland. Uh... Did okay. someone make a coronavirus fursuit? Possibly. Is That's not a furry, though, right? If you're a virus? Don't ask furries those questions, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to see if I can find the Finland stuff. Because that is amazing advice. I mean, to be fair though, it's very easy to get bored and you gotta find something to make yourself entertained, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I just do a lot of streaming and that's like, yeah, it's, it's been a weird thing where like my typical day to day hasn't changed that much, but it's changed just enough to still like completely wreck me because I don't get to surface and be social every few days and it's starting to wear me down. Yeah, I. I also like that there was a change.org uh, petition to make fursuits illegal, so that's fun. No, that's the other direction. Yeah, exactly. No. Finland would be very disappointed in you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's. it's I, good I, I am. I am. 
I'm currently also like I'm 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 not even writing a book about turning into an animal right now, but it, the the book I'm writing does have a furry MMO in it, so it's been a lot of fun to engage with some like consultants about like okay, so like what are like good uh, like good character profiles to have but in a furry Ew. MMO and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, uh, I mean there is some advice that can be given about that. <laughs> Uh, let me just say that it would all be very special advice. Uh, now, when I was a kid, though, I always used to, like, want to turn into a cat. Oh, I that was my first short story that I ever wrote was about turning into a cat. It's a big move oh, there. Oh, yeah. I, I just... I don't know. I, I remember oh sitting on the wooden floor, just playing probably with some bouncy balls or the Sega Game Gear. Uh, I think this might be the final boss. Hey, I think Men and I just done it. The final boss mm. just walks and just swats you with the sword every so often. Oh! Nope, there's phase two! Surprise! The boss, Skelly! Oh, Skelly-chan just killed. No! <laughs> you have defeated my skin, but can you defeat my bones? That's a, a really good question. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> tiger strats. Ra ra, ra ra, ra ra. It's like it's not tiger uppercut. It's tiger clawing the heck out of your shins. Mm -hmm. Not not as not as catchy. <laughs> I love it. It's it's pretty exciting when there's a surprise second form. <laughs> Like, honestly, it looked like it was beaten, and for a game this janky, that wouldn't have been a surprise at all. Mm. A crouching hit tiger hidden skeleton from the chat. That's great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that is a game over. Not a huge surprise, to be honest, you know? Mm. Old school NES games, if you beat a final boss first shot, it was way too easy. Oh yeah, like you get very, you get sad, and either you return the game to the store, or if it was a birthday gift, you get extremely sad. Oh yeah. Imagine how different our lives would have been if the concept of speedrunning was a thing back when we were kids getting video games. We're like, oh, you beat the game, it's over now. No, 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 no. Now we get to like work out how to beat it very fast, the fastest, in fact. I mean, some people did that, but not a whole lot. Um, yeah, you kind of had to, like, videotape your TV and stuff like that. Yeah, it, like, mostly it was just something between friends. Let's see how we can do it. Mm. And, yeah, chat is saying the Little Mermaid for NES was too easy. I 100% agreed. I played that as a kid and actually beat it when we rented it. So. Yeah, I love that game. Good stuff. I, I didn't, I rarely got, like, console games, but I did get a bunch of, like, uh, like, Game Boy games. So I, I had a lot of fun, like, trying some Game Boy versions of popular NES games, and some of them were sometimes better. Some of them were absolutely not. <laughs> There's apparently, you, you have, you're, you're being quoted on Ariel in the chat right now. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Well, at least at that time I was a mermaid. I don't know about now. Mm. I've, I've sort of developed uh, legs since that time. Mm. It happens, you know? Yeah, actually, when your legs start developing, it's kind of gross. They're just like little little stubs that wiggle outside of mm. your torso. You gotta get the good wiggle. <laughs> you know, it takes days for them to elongate. <laughs> it's not something just sudden. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's, it's, one of these days I'll write a good, like, slow burn TF novel. That's gonna be... Please, no. not enough of those. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe... Well, look, Franz Kafka wrote the original one, you know? No, okay, no, like, wholesome. Like, for me, it's like, it's always wholesome. Like, no bad ends, no creepy stuff, just like... No bad know. ends? You're not a writer. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I... No. Let, let me just say that <laughs> when I was doing a degree in English, uh... I don't think we read anything with a happy ending. Oh, that sucks. Like, no, no, I want to leave, like, readers in a better place. I think, like, it's, it's entirely within, like, the, the scope of what we can do. 
as creators of like e even when you're making a game that turns out to be really like not not great you can still like you know make sure that like players had fun like this isn't a great game but i had fun playing it it's neat yeah Uh, let me just say, I clicked Google Translate for this article about, uh, what we were talking about, and I feel like the translation isn't quite accurate. If you are a dog owner, try to make it from furry gloves. I'm pretty sure that's not right. Huh. Maybe that's a different tip. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's, like, there's lots of, like... I oh, mean, oh like, here we go. Develop your own fur soon and become a furry bearer or animal <laughs> mask designer. Become a furry bearer. That's, that's, that is a heck of a sentence. Become a furry bearer. <laughs> this is the Finland government advice, correct? Uh, mm, um, no, a furry bearer, the bearer of the furry. Bearer of fur, yes. Yeah. I also appreciate that, like, our two, like, the two players on the top screen stall that at 4-2, two, two players on the bottom stall that at 5-2. It makes it really easy to watch. Uh, and keep yeah. track of what's going on here. Yeah, I'm unsure, though, Full Lizards, I don't believe, has made it to the boss. Meta Knight has, putting him mm -hmm. definitely in the lead and made it to the second uh, phase as well. Yeah, absolutely. But the rough thing about the boss is that you only have one shot. You only yeah. have one hit point. Make a <laughs> single mistake and you are dead. Yep. Yep. I'm not sure if uh, Full of Lizards saw the boss, but Meta Knight saw that boss's bones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a great emote. Like one hit point left emote. That's great. See, like that's that's this that's this whole game. You don't need the health bar. You just need the one last health point at the end. That's the one that really matters. The yeah, rest exactly. Is rest. Uh, oh, I found another tip from Finland. Okay. Ooh. Join your kids to play by the screen. So take Fortnite or Overwatch. And if you get excited, try to limit your playtime, too. <laughs> it I'm literally is suggesting speedrunning. Oh. Uh, however, it sounds like it's saying just don't play much Fortnite or Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss time. Meta Knight has four lives and a very long range weapon. Heck yeah. This is, again... Uh, widget rules where I think you can only have one pro projectile on the screen at a time, so getting faster works. Just so, so many little throwing stuff. Oh, it's just so easy to get hit in this boss battle. Oh. But yeah, I want everybody to know Finland, in one single article, both recommended becoming a furry and speedrunning video games. In Heck subsequent... Yeah in subsequent points here. Two for two. Yeah. Sorry, we're mainstream. <laughs> Somehow. Ooh, ooh, spring also comes in quarantine. Prepare before the wasps and make a false nest nest. <gasps> there we go. There we go. There we go. Skeleton time. Oh, skeleton! Oh wow! Okay, right. that's a pretty big. No. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in Meta Knight. That boss also just looked like just just. Good golly, trying their best, but just like walking and then just like swatting their sword like a little stick, like eh, eh. Ooh, I like this suggestion. Do nothing, but get bored properly with permission. It does good to your brain. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, like, that's really good advice. Sometimes you just need to lie down and chill and not feel like you have to be productive all the time. Like, as, as oh, someone yeah, who works sure. from home, this, like, this has been a rough time, even for me. So, like... Yeah, no, you totally need to, to, to chill. That's yeah, I, I completely work from home. Well, both Justin and I do. And 
you know, there, there's something different about uh, choosing to stay home or being forced to stay home. And, yeah. Uh, we definitely have, a, well, we're not forced. It's just highly recommended mm. because Utah's like, we don't want to do any laws. We're dumb. Uh, yeah, yeah. In, in Quebec, it's like absolutely been like everyone stay home. Like the, the streets were very deserted. I went like today to do some groceries. So I pretty much like suited up and then like got home, threw everything in the little quarantine zone and then just like took a shower. And like that was that was like low key scary. No, I read the full rules here in Utah. OK, and they said, mm -hmm. you know, stay inside except for essential travel. And they listed as part of essential travel going for a walk. What? Yeah, that's essential travel per the state of Utah. Okay. Walking. Hmm. <laughs> we, we, I guess we don't, we don't all have like ring fit. We can like virtual walk in our living room. Yeah, but no, Robo Wizard. I do not, I do not protect myself outside by first. I do not have a fur suit. But it's just that like, you know, everybody stay inside except for when you want to go outside. That's <laughs> essentially what the law is here. Stay inside unless you want to go outside. Oh, oh, full of lizards. See, like, there's, this is the chance. This is the chance to maybe actually grab first place. Yeah, okay, I, I get it, everybody. I get it. It's just that, you know, pretty much no stores are closed at this point in Utah, even though people are starting to get sick. It's going to get bad here. So expect us to basically uh, end up with, with bad stuff here. You know, eventually, hope, hopefully, people start growing brains and taking things seriously. But, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, full lizards. my gosh. <laughs> You're doing a good job with this fight. It's a little bit stressful. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Like, if full lizards can, like, win here, then that is first place. Oh, no. It clawed him. One more life, no. though. Yep, yep. <laughs> that was that was nuts. Okay, probably an illegal way to fight this boss. What full lizards did there? Because I mean, locks have no reach here. This is like the enemy's fortress, so. Anything goes. Oh my gosh. Okay, Ooh. on to phase two. Full lizards, don't don't worry. Just gotta beat that skeleton. Beat that boss's bones. Oh, it's scorpion time. Oh, never mind. Ha! No. Good attempt. <laughs> Good attempt. Honestly, I think that Meta Knight would still be considered in the lead due to get there first. It's hard to say oh, who actually absolutely. did more damage. I'm yeah, no, uh, damage is like, you can't tell with the bosses, so I, I believe at the point is like, whoever saw that boss's bones first. Oh yeah. The bones. The bones. The bones. Yeah. I... <laughs> By the way, yes, you you are allowed to go and get a walk and get a walk. Go on a walk, everybody. Get a walk and then stir fry. Some it's some just stuff. as long as you take it like moderately seriously, more so than the state of Utah, that would be good. Mm, yeah. Oh uh, no, no. And Gosh. you know what? Unfortunately, <laughs> no more progress is allowed for the players because that is time. That is an hour. Nice. And what a fantastic Woo. showing this has been. This is not the best game in the world. Definitely is bootleg Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> but the players have done a fantastic job trying to get through this. Now, from yeah. what I see, yeah. Meta Knight takes the victory today. Uh, we do mm. have Full Lizards coming in second. I believe Celestia may... I, but between Celestium and Scuddy, do you happen to know if Scuddy made it to the boss there? I, I, I do not recall if I saw the UFO on Scuddy's screen is, is uh, I'm sure we can go to the tape. Oh yeah, for sure. We may need to re review it. That is sort of the feeling that we get though, that Celestia moved mm -hmm. into third over Scuddy. Well, I need to... Uh, 
message 90 real quick. Because if 90 wants to come and talk a little bit about the experience of this yeah. game, that would be great. Apparently, the players actually really enjoyed it. Uh, Full Lizard. I'm so glad. Said Scuddy said it was okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> essentially. Uh, and Good enough. Transformations were a little bit difficult for some of the players, but, you know, that's kind of expected. When they don't get a manual and just have to figure it out, uh, visiting grandma style. That's yep. I wanted I wanted them to, yeah. I, I wanted them to like have to figure it out, but also I was convinced to at least tell them like, hey, you, there's something more you can do. And then and then like you, you gotta like you train those important Cusa Grande muscles of like figuring out where the other things that you can do with the buttons are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm just thinking, by the way, what is your favorite part of that game? Oh, it has to be like, I mean, it's, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's obviously the transformations, but I just, I see the, the fact that the, each weapon comes with its own transformation and that, and that the weapon and the transformations abilities are kind of like made to be balanced between each other. I love that. As a game designer, I, I eat this up. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm so happy that like, yeah, you have the long range weapon or the quick, powerful, short range uh, like attack or you have the extremely powerful short range weapon with the very mobile but completely inoffensive transform there's like ah oh, it's just so good i live from for games like this and i'm just but that that mechanic alone like just makes makes this game really special to me honestly yes that is really uh i don't know that that gets really exciting when you do have mechanics that can change up quite a bit and when there is flexibility so that you're not just stuck with one single useless weapon. You do have options. Uh, it's mm. really, uh, really cool. Uh, I, I think that as well, the bow staff is interesting because it gives a lot of risk versus reward. It deals a mm. lot of damage. Uh, yep. And I, I think that that could be extremely helpful. Uh, especially for bosses. You get up in their faces, but you destroy them. Oh. Yep, destroy them before they destroy you because but that yeah, the, the bow is definitely seems to be like the uh the Halo one pistol of this game. Where like at first blush you look at it and it seems to be like, ah, why would I ever pick this? Forget it. But once you start to know the game, you realize, wait, no, actually this is probably one of the better weapons because once you know how to use it, it makes everything like way faster and easier. Oh yeah. Uh, by the way, I haven't gotten a response from Nighty, so I don't believe they will be joining. That's okay. Still, solid victory today. Fantastic yeah. watch. I loved this game. I kind of want to go play this myself. Like, the music isn't the best, but I can forgive that. Hmm. It's not that spiz popped. Was... No, no, exactly. It's a little bit... Little, little bit repetitive, but you get variety. You, like, I forgot the level one music by the time like we're around like, like level three. And yeah, three. I actually can't think of what that music was at all. So, good enough. <laughs> uh, Xandra, anything else you want to say uh, before taking off? Anything about the game or things going on in your life, things that you're streaming? Uh, I am I am, I am. continuing to stream every single Mega Man game that ever lived, but also for... Uh, you know, because GDC was canceled, so uh, oh, yeah. the uh, GameDev.World folks are having, like, a fundraiser this week. So I'll be participating, like, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday early afternoon, I'll uh, playing Sayonara Wild Hearts to raise money to help, like, you know, uh, the, the fund that will reimburse, uh, help, like, you know, defray people's expenses who had to back out of GDC but were not able to, like, get their money back. So if, you, awesome. if that sounds good to you, yeah, just check out my Twitter or my Twitch and... Yeah. Or just game that world. And I they're... love that communities are coming together to help each other out. So yes, go check yeah. that out. Ah. Well, thank you so much, Zandra. I am happy that we had this game. Take care, and I will yeah. see you next time. Yep, bye-bye. Bye. Everybody, 